G'day, Ralph Mayhew here, and today I thought I would shoot something I've been meaning to shoot for a little while, and it's about <laughs> Urban Brew. These guys are the bomb. Um, I'll explain more a little bit later, but for now, um, what I'm going to do is do a time lapse of the video that I'm going to shoot, and then you'll be able to see the video that I've shot. But it'll give you a bit of a clue about how long it takes and the stuff that I use and all of that. But first of all, you need one of these. It's a shot list. It's a list of all the shots that you want, because otherwise you finish the whole project and you're editing it and you realize there's two shots you wanted to make and you've either got to set up all over again or you miss out completely. So I hope you enjoy this, it's a little bit different. Uh, won't take you as long to watch as it took me to make, but we'll have a little bit of fun. So let's see how we go. Enjoy the making of, I don't even know what it's called, Urban Brew Coffee Pods. Just wanted to share with you a few quick thoughts um, of learning. I shot some of that on my macro. When you're shooting your macro, your depth of field is very, very shallow. So that means what's in focus is very shallow, which means you have to bump it out, which means you need more lights, which is why I got some lights in. Uh, that wasn't my intention, but that's where we went. The angles were good, but I had to switch between slow-mo and um, normal cinematics, so 24 frames up to 100 or 120, which meant all the other settings had to change and a couple of times I forgot to do that. So you're doing everything in this space. I, I should also say that no cups of coffee were wasted in the making of this. I think I made the equivalent of four espressos, I think, but two of them ended up in the fridge for later on. Cold press. I don't even know if that's what it is, but it is now. And the other two we drank. We mixed milk twice and did some top down and some bottom up. Did lots of extra sound effects so we're going to mic up different things and increase the sound so when you put them together they sound nice loud and crispy. Uh, it was one of the few shoots I had to silence the family. It was great. It was like ah do whatever at the moment. Vacuuming and playing outside and carrying on so that's why you might be able to pick up a bit in the audio. Someone just ran into a car or something. Had two cameras on the go. I had this, my M50, Canon M50. I had my Nikon Z6, which did most of the shooting with my macro. This did the top-down shots. And then this, my shot list, um, all got ticked off. And the idea is when you do a shot list, you, you make your shot list based on best sequence of shots, not best sequence of how they'll find, end up in the final edit. So you might do a shot that you're going to use right at the end of your edit, right at the start, if it works in terms of time efficiency, making the most of your resources. I start off trying to light it with this, this thing. This is like a cheap... Can you, can you even see that? It's like a cheap knockoff of like an aperture light. When I got it, I couldn't afford aperture light, so I got this and, well, let's just say it's a cheap knockoff. It didn't do any use today, but I think the batteries are going flat, so perhaps I should charge them up. Halfway through one of the key shots where my little Canon battery just died. So I had to replace that and retake the shot. It's the top down of the milk when he goes <laughs> um, Yeah, you only get to see that once. If you know me, I don't, I don't make stuff clean and tidy, but I had to make everything clean and tidy for this. The cool thing about shooting is if you just look at, at this for a second, it's just like, it's, it's a bit of a mess. But the cool thing about shooting is people only get to see what's in frame. <laughs> so only what's in frame has to look good, but you've got to be consistent all the way through. So you can't take a shot of say the coffee machine at a certain angle and then retake the shot, but have moved the machine. It doesn't work, so it's got to be consistent all the way through. I hope you've had fun watching that, the video of actually the finished product. Um, so the in front of the scenes, if this is behind the scenes, the in front of the scenes is just up here. Now you can uh, click on that. It's also in the description down here. I'd love to hear what you think about it. It's one of those things that in three, 
months, probably months time, I'll look at it and be like, oh, I should have done this and that, and I've learned this and I've learned that. But here's the deal, you can't muck about and wait till you know everything. You just gotta jump in, give it a crack, and do your best. Enjoy what you do, knowing that it's not your best work. Your best work is to come. Mm, I don't know, what else did I learn? It takes a long time, it's a lot of mucking about. It's good fun, and I hope you enjoy the final edit. My four-year-old just ran in telling me that he's gonna skateboard down the driveway now. And he went out there, and then he got his skateboard, padded up, went back out that way. Oh wow, it's a different world we're living in. And having said all of that, it's gonna be a cracker sunset. Getting my other camera ready, I gotta go. And finally, um, this whole thing was about Urban Brew. Urban Brew are eco-friendly coffee pods, so they break down really quickly, they're really cheap, and the coffee is amazing. Give these guys some, some love, some attention, check them out, it's in the description below. Um, they've not asked or endorsed or anything with this, I just love that coffee, um, and it's super cool as soon as you're isolated, we've been plowing through it. So um, if you've got a coffee machine and you want some pods, they are worth looking at. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it. You can subscribe below, that would be amazing. Um, you can hit the bell, bing! Um, and that will tell you as soon as I post another video, if you're that keen to get my stuff, it actually helps with the algorithm. So if you wanna be part of it, would love you to. If you've been enjoying this, um, give it some love, share it about, and I will see you in the next video.